is one. Cards can clinch by symbolically dethroning the two-time Central Division champions. And there's the kid, Rick Ankeel, the rookie. He struck him out. Julio Lugo on the breaking pitch. Next batter, Tim Bogar. Zip on that. Got him. Next man up, Jeff Bagwell. This is dangerous. He struck him out. Striking out the side. Ankeel goes seven. Gives up two earned runs at eight Ks. Bottom of the third. No score. Bases loaded. There's the score now. Jim Edmonds rocks that deep. Daddy's home. Grand slam. His 41st of the year. Home run, that is. 4 0. He's 1 for 9 with him loaded this year. Going into that at bat, Edmonds puts his team up 4 0. Ray Langford, next man up. Back to back home runs. 15th time this year. The Cardinals have done so. Ties a National League record. 225 home runs for the Cardinals. A new club record. Now in the sixth, 8 3 Ankiel to Moise Salou. Be quiet. The grounder. Edgar Renteria deep in the hole. They got the out. Go to the ninth now. Money time. Two outs. 11-6 cards. Mike Timlin trying to close it out on Tim Bogar. Here it comes. Swing and a line drive. That's the winner. Caught by Vigna. Champion Cardinals in the Central Division. Here on... Yes, indeed. Ford Frick Award winner Jack Buck with the call there on the radio. Mark McGuire, Jim Edmonds. The long hug. Did this in front of the 34th sellout of the season. Breaks a club record, which Stan the Man fans is saying something. The Cardinals are the first to clinch. 11-6 the final. Tony La Russa with seven division titles. Four with Oakland, one with the White Sox, and that was when there were only two divisions per league. The didn't look good for the Mets. Leiter or the Mets curse in Atlanta. But Leiter, who knew? Perfect game through five innings. Mets up 3-0, one out. Robin Ventura, oh, no. No more perfect game. Walt Weiss, grounder through. 16th error on the year for Ventura. Two men later, Leiter to Raphael Furcal. The full count. Fouled that up, fouled that up. One piece of that again. The rookie, mind you, the rookie, fighting this up on Leiter. And again, and by a base hit. Puts that through 12th pitch of the at bat. Weiss will score. Braves within two. It's 3 1. No hitter gone. The shutout is gone. Same inning. Bases are loaded. Leiter to Brian Jordan. Another Met killer. Popped him up. Todd Zeal. Used two hands. Didn't want to. Inning over. Bottom of the seventh. Mets lead 3-2. Bases loaded. John Franco is up. He was 3-0 to Jones. Jones flies out. And the threat is over. Al Leiter says yes. Keep it going. Bottom of the eighth. Bases loaded again. Mets up 5-3 at this point. Armando Benitez to Wally Joyner. And Edgardo Alfonso will end the inning. Braves stranding nine in the sixth, seventh, and eighth alone. Braves 0 for 4 with them loaded. And Al Leiter, the man who put the Mets into the playoffs with a shutout last year, reversing several bad Met trends. First September win for the Mets in Atlanta since 1996. Tom Glavin denied his 20th win for the third time. Still no 20-game winners in the majors. Mondesi activated but not playing. Dave Martinez playing and playing well. In the third off David Cohn. That's into some wide open spaces. Stewart will score. Martinez runs 270 feet. Gets a triple. His fourth three-bagger of the year. Jay's up 2-1. Fourth inning, Carlos Delgado can't get the foul ball, but look at that. Close for the pitcher. That's nice. Get it. There you go. That's my best side in the hug. No. I want to rethink that. Bottom four, Jay's up 5-1. Martinez with two on. Slashes one down. That's going to rattle around in the left field corner. Two more runs score. Martinez, three ribs, now hitting 2-9-9. Nine, nine. Yanks struggling for runs. Seventh inning. Scott David Brocious, you get in this house right now. 5-4-3 double play. Yanks, three twin killings in this one. Jay's Cruz by count of 7-2. Esteban Loiza. Didn't allow an earned run in seven innings. Cone, on the other hand, has now allowed six earned runs or more in ten. Of to back double headers for the Indians and the Red Sox alone. Pedro, 9-0 against Cleveland going in. But no outs here for Roberto Alomar. Rips that one. Kenny Lofton comes in. He gets tagged out there, but Tribe said Pedro gets better as the game goes on, so I'm trying to jump on him early. That's the way it went. Roberto Alomar down, gets Jim Tomey in the fifth. Travis Fryman, he struck him out. Pedro is Pedro once again. Chris Branion got him there. Eight innings for Pedro. One earned run, that one run, but that would loom large. Nine strikeouts in the game. Derek Lowe in the ninth. Kenny Lofton rips this one. Pesky's pole home run. Lofton's 14th home run of the season. 2 0. Now in the ninth. Sox trying to rally. Noma! Nomar Garcia Pari came this close to going out. Just a few feet away, a double for Nomar Garcia Parra. Runners on second and third for Boston. Next man up, Troy O'Leary. 
rounder. Roberto Alomar holds on. No, no, no. Just hold it, eat it. Run scores, but it's 2-1. It's a Bill Glover out there. Two men later. Oh, Bob Wickman got Brian Dahl back. Couldn't check the swing. Indians hold on. Tribe taking the opener in the second of the five-game series. Steve Woodard, the win, said, you got to be at the top of your game to beat this guy. And he was with the loss. Pedro misses any shot of a second consecutive 20-win season. On bottom for a scoreless, Jerry Harrison against Barry Zito. And Terrence Long giving effort. Effort is the key to success. We take another look. And it's just a long out. Jerry Harrison. Bottom four, Zito pitching to Brooke Fordyce with one on. And you can't really go get that one. Fordyce, one for three. is one knock, pretty good one. Now hitting 298, 13th home of the year, two zip O's. Chuck McElroy making his first major league start after 603 straight relief appearances. That's a major league record. And he gets Eric Chavez to miss. Two batters later, Terrence Long. You saw him with the glove. Not so good with the bat. Grounds out to Cal Ripken Jr. McElroy, 73 pitches, 43 or more strikes, and then he left the game after the fifth. Top six, B.J. Ryan and Matt Stairs strikes out. Top nine, Ryan Colmeyer pitching to Stairs and Stairs swings and misses again. Next batter, Jeremy Giambi. He too can't catch up with it. Eric Chavez, no good. Colmeyer, 11th save is a gas. Game over. Orioles 2-0, and the O's are pleased. McElroy, three singles and a walk in five innings along. Red Sox, Real Cormier here, bases loaded. Look! He's going! Omar Vizquel, <laughs> one fan would yell at Omar Vizquel, steals home. He'd already stolen third without getting a throw, and here, takes off, Cormier sleeping, bases are loaded. Go ahead, run. You can do that? Oh, yeah, evidently you can. <laughs> Pick it up now, bottom of the fifth, Trot Nixon facing Dave Berba. Editor's embellishment, good wood on that. Tenth home run of the season, his one hit of the day, Trot Nixon buries that, it's four. Three, to which Nixon, the top secret information. Jimmy Williams, all of the work. Rich Gars is here in the seventh, still 4-3. Manny Ramirez, two on, two out, base hit, clutch hit. Kenny Lofton will score. Ties up the game at four apiece. Next man up, Jim Tomey, and the shift is on. But this going over Noma. Shortstop there at second base, but over the top, 5-4. Indians take the lead. Cleveland scoring all five with two men out. Bob Whitman and Lou Merloni here. The 5-4, the governor, two for three going into the at-bat, but doubled up. Bob Whitman with the save, two saves, and all oh, the humanity. Indians complete the sweep. First Cleveland sweep at Fenway since 1982. Oil can Boyd made his major league debut. In We're going to split this thing up, and he gets that one off Jose Mercedes. Homer, number 25, he's having a better one than he did in game one. A's up one zip. Fifth homer in his last 10 games, Miguel Tejada. Two today. on, a little dribbler. They don't all have to go out of the park to be effective. Mercedes got no play. Matt Stairs scores. A's up two zipping. Three zero A's in the fifth. Stairs up again, and he's not gonna have to hustle home this time. That is so high. His 21st home run. A's up four nothing. Pick up some Boog's barbecue while you're out there. A's pitcher Gil Heredia pitching well. Sixth inning. Harrison. Jerry Hairston. Yeah, black part of the plate's a strike two. Chris Richard gets him swinging. Already a seven to two thirds. Ninth inning, two runners on base. Cal Ripken Jr. on deck. He would have been the tying run, but not going to get a chance. Sure. Eugene Kingsale is Jeff Tam. Randy Velarde. That's four three on the putout and four zip on the scoreboard. Final goose eggs on the other side of the scoreboard in game two. Jose Mercedes had five September wins coming in, and the A's long balled in three times. Already a one in four since July 30th. Comes up large. No run. Arizona, are you in or are you out? Johnson gets Eric Caro swinging. Kelly Stinnett makes it a strike him out, throw him out. Johnson, seven innings pitch. He's got 35 Ks in his last three starts. Top six, no score, Darren Dreifert. He's matching RJ, gets Luis Gonzalez, seven and two thirds, seven Ks. Bottom night, still no score. It was a one nothing game on Tuesday night when they beat Brian Anderson. Young Young Kim to Eric Carros, and this time he did not miss. The game winning home run, Logo can't get to it. Dodgers, one zip, they win their sixth straight and jump ahead of the Diamondbacks. In the division, Dodgers win their second straight, as I just said, in the one nothing fashion. Johnson still hasn't won back-to-back -back starts since early July. The D-backs have dropped five straight. So the Giants and the Reds. Giants can clinch with a win. Bottom five, three-zip Giants. Barry Bonds facing Steve Paris. we got a ball overboard. His 48th, and it's the sixth to splash down to McCovey Cove this season. Bonds, 493rd homer, second to Ernie Banks' 5-12. 
for home runs by guys who didn't go to a World Series. Meanwhile, Russ Ortiz, not just pitching well, that's John McEnroe, nice bat. It's a sand bat. Those are expensive, too, I forgot to tell you. Ortiz, Brady Clark in the sixth. No good there. Ortiz, no hitter through six. Facing Brian Hunter in the seventh. And this is how you beat the guy with the no hitter. You lay one down. Oh, no. Oh, there it is, Hunter. Cheap. Bobby Estelle, Ortiz, both there. It's an infield single. Nobody else got hit, which we were lucky. Giants go on top and win 4-2, so they clinch at least a tie. Their magic number is still one. Rob Nen pitched the ninth to convert his 25th straight chance. Ortiz improves to 8-1 with a 1.92 ERA in his last 10 starts. Let's talk Tampa Bay. Top five, Mariners lead 4 nothing. Stan Javier facing Albi Lopez. Javier lines it. Felix Martinez better hops. Top six, Mariners lead down to 4-3. David Bell facing Albi Lopez. Bell, ding, dong. His only hit of the game is pretty good one. Eighth homer of the year. He's now got 44 ribs, and the Mariners go up 5-3. Bottom nine, Mariners protecting a one-run lead. Kazuhiro Sasaki facing Gerald Williams. With two on, two out. We don't have any drama. Bell over, making a nice catch in foul territory. Mariners win the game 5-4 and finish a 6-0 road trip. First time they've ever had a perfect road trip. Aaron Seeley improves to 6-0 in six lifetime starts versus the D-Rays, including 4-0 this season. Seattle, eight straight wins, trying not to let the A's through the door, and they're knocking three back and four at the safe starting on Thursday. White Sox and Tigers, Todd Jones, the Rick Dempsey of the aughts. Look at this, rain delay of about an hour and a half. They played a half inning. Another rain delay of an hour and a half, and Jones throwing out the sunflower seeds to the fans, and later the fans got to see Ray Durham. The base is loaded, drill that out in the eighth inning. Durham three for five with four RBIs. White Sox hammer the Tigers 13 to six. The magic number is now six. They also set a franchise record of 920.